here are in another corner of Intracom booth. Right. Yes. What do you show us here? Well, this mostly is about uh, the, some uh, software-based products that we have uh, developed. Uh, you may recall from previous years that we had uh, started using big data analytics for the telco space. So now we have come up, let's say, to the next level of it, where we are uh, implementing uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence again for the telco sector. So the, the concept is that um, Okay, we are in position to, to, to collect and process all this huge amount of data that floats on the telecom network, but now we need to start doing something really intelligent about that. We need to see, okay, how can we start predicting things to happen? Uh, we are running some, uh, some projects where, for example, we are, uh, trying to, we are predicting uh, failures in the network. So when things can go bad, we are using this information and some uh, modeling so that we can uh, suggest to the telecom uh, operator when it's the best time that they can do their maintenance, which means downtime. But I need to do it at a, at a period of a day when I have the less impact to my customers. But which customers? The high paying ones. So all this information comes into place, you will correlate all these things together so that you give intelligent directions to the operator on how they can optimize their, uh, their operations cost factors start coming in. Uh, you need to be in position to start calculating what is the cost of offering a service to each and every subscriber. So that at the end of the day you are in position to make best offers and attract more and more customers but at the end of the day also maximizing your, uh, your uh, profitability. Uh, so uh, analytics and definitely the work of our data scientists uh, comes in place here and we have come up with a number of use cases that we have um, developed to a big operator group that's operating all, all around uh, Europe uh, and again as, uh, as we think this is an area where it's a lot of work for improvement and further development. Data scientists will be a key asset for every company that is operating the area of analytics. Uh, it's not anymore an issue of, you know, of platform and infrastructure, it's uh, about having this uh, the scientists working there and coming with new scenarios, new models and new proposals at the end of the day to telecom operators. So this is a live demo of exactly. the virtual and Wi-Fi services. The, well, uh, one thing that uh, virtualization is one area that we are uh, investing in. Uh, virtualized Wi-Fi is, uh, is an idea, let's say, of uh, having a, one physical infrastructure for Wi-Fi access but being able to split it and lease it uh, among a big number of operators. It's the same idea as you have in cloud, where you have one physical server but it, uh, it appears as uh, logically there are many ones and they can, you can lease it to a number of customers. So the same applies to virtualized Wi-Fi. Uh, you can have one infrastructure, you can manage practically any type of uh, access point from any vendors and you can make that you can offer a unified management but uh, over and above this uh, we, we offer the tools so that you can automate the the provisioning of new services over these Wi-Fi access points uh, so at the click of a button you can instantiate I don't know a DPI service or a AAA or a DHCP or whatever uh, network function that the operator wishes to deploy and all this is done through some quite intuitive uh, web interfaces with just no point and click uh, operations. Uh, going a step further, uh, in the area of virtualization, we are also working in what we call NFV acceleration. Uh, the, the challenge with uh, virtualized functions is that uh, until now all these functions were performed on a specific hardware that was built for that specific purpose. Now you're taking this functionality as a software and you try to run it on some industry server. The challenge there is that will it behave and perform as you expect it to? So what we're doing here is that we are offering some tools that you can optimize the performance of the virtual functions. Um, again, using artificial intelligence and big data technology, what we do is that we run in real time and a huge number of tests on how the system would perform if we change the placement of threads and we, if we change the way that it runs on the specific hardware. We came up with a huge number, this is just a, a visualization of all the results that we get out of these tests. So the system is in position to identify what is the best configuration for the software to operate on this particular hardware so that they can have maximum performance. In parallel, since we're talking about green technologies, we're also uh, minimizing the, the power consumption of these machines. So imagine that if you're in a big data center, you have maximum capacity in parallel minimizing the energy consumption, which is one of the big you know, cost factors for a data center operation. Uh, this is a subject that has uh, attracted uh, quite a lot of attention, uh, not only during this show, but uh, with all the interaction we have with customers, especially with the ones that, as I said, are involved in data centers. 
because you understand a 10 or 20 percent increase in performance or decrease in power consumption uh, has a major impact on their PL, which means more profitability, more customers they can support, or in some cases, for example, in a, in a country in Asia, uh, they don't have a stable power. It means that from time to time, power goes off. So they have power generators kicking in, but these have a specific uh, lifespan. So with this kind of system, we keep the same performance, minimizing the energy consumption, which means that they have more time for their crew to go there to fix their problem and have the data center uh, up and running normally. Uh, we, this is the, I think it's just the, the tip of the iceberg of this kind of uh, technologies. Uh, we keep investing there. We are definitely leveraging all the work and uh, the experience we have in the area of analytics and machine learning. And uh, I think that it will probably be a big thing to keep showing in the, in the shows to come. This is just the beginning for us. Exactly. That's what I want to mention. Is it something new for your company? It's, it's definitely new. It's, uh, we, we are getting more and more expertise in the area. Uh, we see that uh, this is an expertise that is not that uh, you cannot easily found in the, in the market. That's why we have started a number of uh, partnerships on this particular field. Uh, I mean, Intel, we are working with Intel on this particular uh, stuff. We are part of their network builder uh, ecosystem. Uh, and, and we feel that uh, the more you know, virtualization comes in life, because now we, it is just starting for the telecom operator, the more network functions get to be totally virtualized, the more intense it will be the need for this solution that optimizes its operation. Intracom is starting a new era of development in big data and uh, data scientists and uh, business analytics. Is this a new area of expertise of Intracom? Well, we started working in big data as early as uh, 2011 or 2012, if I remember correctly. Back then we were trying to see, okay, what is this powerful tool and what it can do with us. Uh, so we got ourselves quite uh, expert in the terms of infrastructure and platforms. So we work with uh, Hadoop and Cloudera and these kind of players that are quite big. Now, this, uh, these companies, of course, they offer the infrastructure for the storage and the processing. Uh, the value add that we add is that, uh, uh, first of all, the capability to do a number of things in real time with what we call a complex event processing of getting all this huge amount of information and in real time doing, performing our use cases. Uh, this is something that we have been doing for the last year. Uh, but uh, right now, lately, we have invested more in data science where we have this uh, team of experts that are um, using all this information to start li really predicting how things will evolve, uh, how the network will react, uh, when faults will start uh, appearing, uh, how can I optimize my cost, uh, what will happen if my subscriber base changes from this to that. So this is questions that operators want answers. And where we come in is that, okay, we work with the partners like Cloudera and Hadoop getting the infrastructure, but as a company, we have developed and we deploy all the use cases, the business logic, and of course, all the, all the algorithms and the modeling where our data scientists come in and they help us a lot. And we feel that this is a very critical asset. Uh, I believe we're among the first that develop the you know, data scientists that are very targeted in the telco space. Uh, so we have a very good team there. And we are also expanding in other verticals. Obviously, we started from telecom because this is our no natural let's say, space. But over the years, we have expanded in, uh, in energy and e-health. And uh, lately, we also uh, worked in banks. So the field is just getting wider and wider. And uh, no, we want to be present and very active in these areas as well.